been mobbing. Cash get concealed in the cut like Bin Laden. Christopher Wallace with my issues. These big problems can't be solved that quick. I just see from a different view like my contacts in. 2020, the money coming, the numbers up. But never running the underdog, I've been up to something. Would I date any girls on Monkey that lives near you? Tough. I'm telling you right now, tough. That's all I'm going to say. Tough. Um, you know, I'm going to just wrap this up and talk real quick. Because, you know, these Drew Rags is about to go to a whole nother level in the next couple weeks, I'm telling you. Hopefully, I have... I, I don't even want to spoil it. But just know, some new Drew Rags is coming out. And they're never before seen. You've never seen them before. The heat. I know this one is beautiful. I got one that looks... It's the same type of design. It's, it's beautiful, too. But, you know, I don't want to spill too much before I get, like, you know too excited or make you too excited that you can't control yourself i'm gonna just stop but y'all know the vibes you from you seen the title we about to do a nice little q a so i sent um well i told you guys to send me questions uh via my instagram it's right there you know juvia underscore you feel me go follow that because you know i'll be going crazy on instagram do i i don't even know what i'll be doing it don't even matter but um yeah i told y'all send me questions so i'm gonna just be going through these questions answering them I told y'all send me whatever kind of crushes don't even matter. Now, we're not going to talk about the fact that I look small, okay? It's because I haven't worked them like a week. No, so I'm boosting. It's been like three weeks, actually, um, which is unfortunate due to, you know, my foot and stuff. But, um, but yeah, we just about to hop right into this. First question, let's get right into this, baby. You feel me? Um, what about the female of your one vlog back in the days? I don't know what female you talk about. I had the little, the monkey, cr I mean, not the monkey. I had the gym crush one. Had the sugar mama one. I ain't talked to the sugar mama one in a while. I don't know. I don't know which girl you're talking about, so I can't really answer your question, you feel me? What got you into waves and design drew rags? So listen, listen, this is a story, you feel me? So back in like July last year, 2017, 18, 2018, um, I cut my hair. I was sick and tired of having hair. I used to get my hair braided, and I used to have the curls, and I, the curls were just too much work. You had to do the whatever. I just hated it. Um, then the braids would hurt my head, and it was, it was just bad. I got sick and tired of it. So I cut my hair in like July. Dang, who that? Uh, I cut my hair in like July. Um, well, I didn't really start waving until like September, October, somewhere around there. I don't know. And um, well, I just started brushing my hair and trying to get waves. That's when I was like, yeah, let me get some waves. Let me see, let me see. Let me see what the ladies like to waves, you feel me? So I started brushing, started getting little ripples and stuff like that. And I used to be wearing the do-rags. About the do-rag part, what do you say? He said designing do-rags. So um, do-rags, you know, I always like wearing like the different type of do-rags. Like if you follow me, like when I first cut my hair, I used to wear like the black do-rag only. But then I went to a beauty spice store and got like different flavors, you know, the red, the blue, the green, all that stuff. And then, you know, there's a certain point where you go to Blue Supply Store and you realize you have all the do-rags already because they're all like plain basic colored do-rags that everybody has. And I'm like, uh, I want more. I want to like stand. I like specialty do-rags, like do-rags that make you stand out, that people look at you. And it's like, oh, that do-rag is tough. You feel me? Like with my do-rags, like this one, this one, this one is heat. Yeah, so now it's like, what if I just get my own fabrics and like put it into do-rags and just like see how it comes out, see how it feels after that. that. Start doing it, so I get some good looking fabrics, start with some good looking do-rags, start selling them. Well, Pete, first, like I would just wear them. I didn't even think about selling them. Um, I was just wearing them. Then like you guys ask me where I get my do-rags from, and then I'll be like, hey, why don't I start, you know, making some shmoney, you feel me? So yeah, that's that's where it came from. Um, when was your last relationship? Ooh. Now, let me explain to you right now, because I ain't never really ever talked to a girl in my entire life. I don't think I ever conversated with a female in my entire life, so I can't really answer that question. Um, yeah. What made me start YouTube? I think I answered this question before, but basically, right, so I started working out in 2016 or something like that. And I used to watch, like, a lot of transformation videos, like, body transformation videos, like, one year, body transformation. And, like, that's before I started working out. And when I started working out, I took a picture. I was like, yo, this is going to be the beginning picture. I'm going to make a video in, like, a year or something like that showing my progress. I'm going to make it a transformation video, whatever like that. So I would take pictures throughout my whole journey of working out just to put the one video on YouTube. I did not plan on becoming like a YouTuber or whatever like that. I just wanted to put that one video up there so like people like me before they started working out, they could see somebody else that was small, then they got big. So um, I really only made a YouTube channel just for that, just to put that up there. I did not plan on making videos like consistently, but it just kind of happened. And um, yeah, now I'm here, you feel me? Would you look a homeless man's foot to save your channel? Honestly, on. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Um, Lion King, all of them. Lion King's the best movie, hands down. There's no competition. If you say anything else, I'm gonna slap your daddy in the neck, and that's facts. Where did
come from. You know Smooth Geo. I never really like watched him like that. I mean, I watched some of his videos, but his intros are just mad catchy. I think it was just stuck in my head that one video, and I kind of just like. I think I was like in between clips, and I was just bored. And I was just smooth. I don't know. Then you guys just liked it and always said it, so I kind of just started using it a whole bunch. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you like the monkey yet? Wife, girl, she cute. Um. Yeah. She yeah, she alright, you know what I'm saying? She alright, you know what I'm saying? She finna punch me dead in my face when she watched this. My girl says she wants a threesome but with two other guys. Should I let her? Honestly, I'm not gonna capture you. You should really take the L for your girl. Cause honestly, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Does she deserve that? This if she really wants that. Sometimes you gotta take the L for your girl, you feel me? Who is your celebrity crush? Dang. Oh, I think I got a lot of them Johns. I don't even know. I don't really like like celebrities like that. Cause I feel like once somebody's too mainstream, I don't like them. Like when everybody likes one girl, I automatically not like them. Um, let me see. I like Ella, uh, a boogie's girl. No, like a boogie. <laughs> you trying to collab on a mixtape? Cause I can rap. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I can rap a boogie. Let me know. But um, yeah, Ella. I feel like she. I don't know. She she looked good. Plus, like she like. I be watching her, her Snapchat stories and stuff like that. She be cooking, um, you know, she be staying home, not really doing nothing. She's like wifey material, so. A girl like that, you feel me? Just a girl like that. So what made you think you could woe? You feel me? No, say I'm the best dancer on YouTube. Don't ever get it twisted. If you weren't doing YouTube, what would you want to be? It would be something fitness related, I'm saying right now. It would be something fitness related, but I can't, like, I would never be a personal. I hate person. I did personal training for a little bit. Um, I do not like it. Just for the fact that, you know, when you start pushing somebody else and you end up wanting it more than they want it, that's just very, very annoying. Like, I know this person could change and do so good, but they're just mentally not ready or they're lazy about it. And I'm like, bro, I see this in you. You could really, it just makes me mad. So I could never, like, be a full time personal trainer because I would probably end up choking everybody. How's your leg? Um, you know being a leg you know i can't really go anywhere unfortunately but you know it's healing it's healing thank god what language do infants think in you know what i always thought about it what language do deaf people think in what do they what do they do they like sign language in their head and i'm being disrespectful and nothing like that i'm just curious like deaf people what language do they think in like do they think in sign language i don't i don't know I, I didn't even answer your question i just sent you another question am i a virgin oh listen i told y'all before Never really talked to a girl, never seen a girl in my life. I never really communicated, touched the girls a whole nother level. I never even like, you know, hugged, handshake, nothing. So, um, yeah, uh-huh. You want any kids in life? Yeah, uh, probably three max, two preferably like a boy and a girl, or it could be like a boy, then a girl, then a boy. It could be a boy, boy, girl. I just can't have a girl first. I need my sons to be over here. I mean, I'm gonna be protecting my daughter, but you know, when the, the kid is like 16, talking crazy to my daughter, or doing something crazy to my daughter, I'm gonna shoot him, but I'm gonna have to have my sons take the blame for it. So they go to juvie and like not real jail. Cause if I take the blame for it, then I'm gonna go to real jail. Real jail kind of scary. I don't wanna do that. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be and why? Um, Let's see. If I could change one thing about the world, that's a pretty good question. It's a hard question, actually. One thing I would change is for everybody to be, like, confident in themselves, for themselves, not for other people, you feel me? Because a lot of people that really dependent on, um, they, they value themselves based on what other people value them, which is bad. I hate when people do that. I hate when people get upset after what somebody else says about them. So I'm like, you're you. It's not, they're not, they're not, um, the person that, puts the value on you you put the value on yourself you feel me i'm just spit some facts on you so if you let anybody anybody lower your value your mental value your physical value or what you think your value is stop okay because you control your value you are the person that determines how valuable you are you feel me um see so yeah, that's why i can be like so confident stuff like that because i really don't care what nobody else thinks i know me, for myself, I know what I am, I know what I could do, I know my weaknesses, I know my strengths, I know all that stuff, so, um, yeah, I don't really care what nobody else says, you feel me? How many girlfriends have I had? Um, I told y'all before, um, I never talked to a girl before, you know, never really touched a girl either, hug, none of that, um, so the number's probably zero, yeah. You know, let me slide on your girl or no? Do you value your life?
Would I date any girls on Monkey that lives near you? My new Monkey at wife lives near me. Would I date her? Honestly, I probably would. Not from the cabbage, but probably would. Amber's cool. I like her. Bro, all these questions about the Monkey at wife. Do you honestly mess the new Monkey at wife because we love her? Will you really go out with the Monkey at wife? Do you love her? Come on, hello? Y'all only seen two videos with her. What are y'all talking? Yeah, she cool. I like her. How many chicks do I hit up after the monkey videos? Honestly, y'all really think I hit up like mad? Guess who's FaceTiming me? Hold on. Hello? I'll shoot my video. I'll shoot my Q&A. Wow, okay, bye. There's a, lot, there's a lot of people that's asking about you. Huh? There's a lot of people that's asking about you. Bye. What are you waving hi to? They can't see. Hold up. Wave hi. Go ahead. Damn, my nails look crusty, that's tough. Um, I said mine. Well, yours look crusty, too. Don't get it twisted. No, yours look crusty, too. Yours look crusty, too. Goodbye. Um, what was the question? How many chicks do I hit up after the monkey videos? Not from the Capitol. Y'all really think I really hit up these jumps? Like, I really don't. Like, it's only if they hit me up. Um, well, they won't even hit me up. Like, I've, okay. Out of all the monkey videos I have made, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. There's been, how many people I've hit up? I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Okay, there's one, two, there's her, then the other monkey app, uh, girl from the DMs, um, my mini me, um, there's one other one, but I, I never really hit, I hit her up just to get from my cash app to get, that's the one where you guys saw she sent me $2 of cash app, it was, I didn't really hit her up to talk to her or nothing like that, so I'll still throw that in there just cause y'all really think I'll be talking to these people, um, I feel like there's one more person but I can't remember, like, I don't talk to them now, I've, oh, um, the red hair one from the Rate My Waves. I don't really talk to her. I talked to her for like a day after that, but we'll throw that in there. So let's say five out of all the monkey app videos. That's not even that much. So yeah, I don't really talk to them like that. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I got a whole bunch of more questions, but I can't answer them all because this video will be dumb long and I don't think y'all want that. Um, so, um, if y'all want me to do a part two, I always say this, then y'all get the likes that I say, then I never do it. So I'm not even going to say nothing. I'll do a part two later on in the future. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like right now, comment down below, turn on post notifications, subscribe to our both of because y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay, goodbye. Hold on one time one one second. Don't leave yet. So I got this for me. Don't look at my address. But it's from YouTube. For me. It says YouTube. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut this open. It's the it's the plaque thing. Oh it's the pack thing. I hate when people make these unboxings of the plaques. Like, I never watch them. I just don't like them. So, I'm not going to do a whole unboxing. I'm going to just show you all and say, like, thank you or whatever. I got catfish. I thought it was, like, right there, but it's not. You done something that very few YouTubers accomplished. You've had the stylish and one thousand people from kind of your channel. You know that numbers on YouTube can be really, really big, but you said it. You don't even set a reality behind the six digit much. Go crazy. Go. Oh, I almost ripped it. I'm stupid. But yeah, that's the thing. Uh huh. Yeah, that. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's crazy. I used to dream about getting this drone all the time, and now I got it in it's like, Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate y'all. Like, this is actually lit. Like, I don't cry, but I'm about to cry right now. But, um, yeah. Honestly, I really used to be like, yo, I can't wait till I get a plaque, or I wish I could get a plaque. I hope I get it. And I got one, like, right. And it saved one. And it saved 100. Alright, I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.